أعوذ بالله السميع العليم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين وإمام الخلق أجمعين سيدنا وحبيبنا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين اللهم علمنا ما ينفعنا وانفعنا بما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله I seek refuge in the living and loving God the merciful, the compassionate the pre-eternal and the post-eternal who has always been and will continue to be in existence I hereby testify that there is no deity of God and I hereby testify that Muhammad upon him be peace is Allah's final messenger and the seal of all the prophets who are sent to bring about mercy to the alameen to all that is in existence my sisters and my brothers the khutbah today is sort of a continuation to what we have started before when we spoke about the concept of the Samah in Islam, the concept of forgiveness, the concept of going beyond your limits even to accept others wrongdoing against you. But also in light of Hajj, as you know, next Friday, inshallah, we will not have Friday Salah, due to the fact that it is falling on the day of the Eid. For those of you who do not know, there are Sahih Hadiths that say exactly that, that when the day of the Eid falls on a Friday, one khutbah, one congregation of Salah is enough. Since the community has already met for Eid, they don't need to meet again to do another khutbah and another congregation of salah or jama'ah. And therefore, next Friday, we will have only the salah till Eid. I think it is at 8 o'clock, if I'm not mistaken. 7.30 a.m. That's the gathering for the takbir. We'll start the salah at 8, exactly, <coughs> not 8.02, but 8 a.m., I promise to stay, to stick to my watch, my watch, not yours. So I'll do something to change it there, to fit my own agenda. Those who are making Hajj or have intended to make Hajj have already traveled and they are now either in Medina or in Mecca. Some have planned but yet to travel but will be in the coming few hours or few days, as you know. And I want to reflect on one of those verses that is in the Quran in Surah 2, Surah Al-Baqarah, the calf or the cow, Ayah 197, quite a beautiful ayah that describes Hajj in so many ways, but it starts with this, Al-Hajj Ashurun Ma'lumat, Faman Farada Fihin Al-Hajj, فلا رفث ولا فسوق ولا جدال في الحج حج is a ritual that falls in specific months أشهر معلومات well known well defined months and he who decides 